here is your free video. Here I'm going to give you some real tips, some real secrets that are actually going to make you a better player, but only if you actually use them, okay? Watching this video isn't going to make you better. You have to actually take these ideas and make them your own. So I'm going to give you this free video today. I'm going to give you that free ebook that I talked about tomorrow. Check your email tomorrow. Make sure that email isn't going to your junk folder because you need to read that ebook. It's going to help you a lot. Secret number one, this journey, your development, your success in soccer, it starts inside of you. Okay, so before we talk about skills, before we talk about physical fitness, before we talk about improving your soccer IQ, you need to make a commitment to yourself to be responsible for your own success. Okay, so if you're not a good player today, that isn't your coach's fault. It's not your teammate's fault for not passing you the ball. It's not your parents' fault for putting you on a bad team. It's no one's fault but your own. And maybe fault isn't the right word because someone hasn't opened your mind to this idea yet. But I want you to realize right now, you are in control of your success. So the more you do, the harder you work, the more success you can have. The other thing is you need to approach this with an open mind. Okay, if you take these ideas or listen to these ideas, but you say, oh, that wouldn't work for me, or oh, I don't try that, or oh, I already do that. If you think you already get it, then I can't help you. I can't do anything for you. But if you have an open mind, and you're willing to listen to what I say and actually apply it, then the sky is the limit. Secret number two. Talent is so overrated. You need to understand this right now. Yes, I want you to be a talented player. Yes, I want you to be the most skilled player on your team. But what you need to understand is that work ethic is what you really need. Okay? Even if you're not a skilled player right now, but you have work ethic, you're willing to work hard, and you're willing to do what it takes, sacrifice the time, put in the effort to become better, you can. If you don't have that work ethic though, your career is going to be short-lived. Even if you're the most talented player on your team, and you're the most skilled player, but you're not one of the hardest working, I'm sorry to tell you, but your career is gonna be over pretty soon. So please do not make the same mistakes so many players make. Understand the importance of work ethic. Yes, I want you to be the most skilled player on your team, but I also want you to be the hardest working player on your team. So every time you're in a practice, every time you're in a game, I want you to honestly ask yourself, today, was I the hardest working player on my team? If you can't say that, you need to come back tomorrow with a little more intensity. So please understand, talent is overrated. Work ethic is what's most important. Let's get on the ball. Let's start talking game situations. So how do you beat a defender? How can you be more successful at being a defender? I'm gonna give you three ideas that you need to use right away. First one is do not hesitate. Biggest thing you can do, biggest mistake you can make is hesitate when you have the ball. As soon as you have it, you know you have to beat them, just go at them. Even if I just dribble straight at him, Okay, I'm forcing him. As you saw, he starts moving back. Okay, I'm in control. If I wait and let him close me down, now he's in control. Okay, so don't hesitate. As soon as you can, as soon as you have the ball, go at that player with purpose. Second idea is go at him and then away from him. Okay, so if I want to go to this space, if I want to go to this space right here, I'm not just going to dribble there because he's going to close it down. If I want to go to that space right there, first I'm going to go at him, then I'm going to go away from him. Okay, so don't hesitate. Go at him right away. Go at him and then away from him. The third thing I want you to think about is keeping it simple. You don't need fancy tricks. You don't need a hundred step overs. You don't need all these rolls and flicks and tricks, back heels. Keep it simple. A simple change of direction and speed is going to help you get past the defender. First, let's look at laces because I think this is where you really need to start. This is where you're going to get the most confidence around shooting. Technique, remember, power comes from technique. So focus on the technique, the power will come. So first thing is your body positioning when you're about to take the shot. Okay, I want to get over the ball. I want to plant my foot either beside the ball or a bit in front of it, this is going to help me get over, it's going to help me generate more power. Okay, if I'm planting back here, I can't generate power, I'm just putting my toe through the ball. If I plant right here, you can see how it can generate much more power. 
with this type of motion. Okay, so keep your planting foot beside or in front of the ball. You want to get nice and low, get this power like this. And I want my chest over the ball. If I'm leaning back like this and you're trying to kick it hard, it's always going to go high. Okay, so really lean over the ball. Get your body over the ball. And then when I hit the ball, I want my whole body to fall through to my target. Okay, if I'm hitting it and I'm pulling away like that, it's probably going to spin to the left. If I'm hitting it and I'm going off through this, it's probably going to go to the right. So you want to try to take your body through towards the goal. Okay, you're going to have to practice that to see what I mean. So next thing is your foot technique. Flex this foot. Okay, it has to be hard. Just try to flex it. Try to point your toes down make it as hard as you can. If you hit it with a weak ankle, it's going to be a weak shot. Okay, a lot of players are shooting the ball and what's happening is they're coming through like this. Okay, that's just going to create lots of backspin. It's going to be easy for the keeper to block. So what you want to do is flex foot. When you fall through, you want to keep that flex foot. And you want to keep your toes pointed towards your target. Okay? Next thing is this backswing. It's just the whole motion of your kick. If I'm just trying to kick the ball like this, okay, I'm not going to get much power. If I'm trying to kick it like this, you can see how I would generate more power, right? Just like a golf swing. The further you go back, the more power you can generate. If I'm just going to here, a little chip shot, I can't get as much power. So focus on that big backswing, nice follow through towards your target. Last thing I want you to think about is when you do hit the ball, landing on your planting foot. Okay, this is going to help you get some more power. So yes, you can shoot and just stay like that. I want you to go through the ball, land on that planting foot like that. Secret number five is the secret to improving your weaker foot. Now, it's not what some of you want to hear. I'm sorry to tell you this, but there are no secret formulas to improve your weak foot. You can't drink a potion or take a pill. The only way that your weak foot is going to become as good as your strong foot is if you get as many repetitions or even more repetitions on that weak foot. So if I want to become a better shooter with my weak foot, I need to shoot with my weak foot. If I want to become a better passer, I need to pass with my weak foot. I need to dribble with my weak foot. I need to juggle with my weak foot. Okay, you're listening to this right now and you're probably saying, oh, that's stupid, that's not a secret. But why are so many players not doing this? Why do so many players spend 20 years of their life using one foot, only relying on one foot? Okay, so the younger you are, you need to adopt this idea right now. Whatever drill you do, do it equally with both feet and in a short period of time, you're going to see massive improvements in your weaker foot. Okay, so you almost want to be falling forward when you're sprinting. So those first four steps, I really want you to keep that upper body down. And over time, you'll pick up. But literally, almost be falling forward in the very beginning. Okay? And the other thing, like we talked about in that running video, you want to be on the balls of your feet. Okay, so you're pushing off of the balls. Basically, when your foot hits the ground, it should stay on the ground for the least amount of time possible. Okay, if I land with my heel, and then my foot, and then push off, that takes way longer than landing on my balls and springing off like that, okay? So land on the balls of your feet, really push off. Most people are picking up their legs, but they're not pushing off for power. Think about that, push off, generate some power. Okay, I want you to make those first four strides a little longer than you normally would. Okay, so really try to grab that ground, push yourself off, keep your upper body lower, and power through. Secret number seven I'm going to share with you is the number one reason why you're playing well in training, but you're not playing well in games. Okay, you're the same player in your training with your team as you are in your games against opposition you've never played against before. The only thing different is your mindset. It's the way you're looking at it. 
when you go to your training session, you're confident. You know these players. You know you can play with them. You know what you can do. You're excited. You want to score goals. You want to play well. You want to work hard. So you do all that. Then when you get in that game situation, what happens? Your mentality changes. You start to doubt yourself. You say, well, what if these players are really good? What if I can't keep up with them? What if I make mistakes? What if I lose the ball? What if my teammates yell at me? Okay, this goes back to that first idea of believing in yourself and understanding that you are responsible for your success. So if I tell myself I can't do it, I won't do it. I'll find a hundred ways to fail. The only thing different from training to games is the way you're thinking about it. So when you go into your games, I want you to be confident. I want you to breathe. I want you to be calm. I want you to remind yourself of all the positive things you're going to do. If you think about missing shots, think about screwing up passes, think about getting tackled, you will. If you think about playing quickly, you think about scoring goals, you think about making assists, you think about being a great team player, you will. Secret number eight to becoming a better player and impact player is watching more professional football. And I shouldn't even say watching, I should say analyzing. Okay, honestly, this is one of my biggest tools for improving myself, but it also helps for every player that I've showed this to and they actually use it. So you need to watch more professional games, you need to watch more highlights, you need to watch more YouTube compilations. But like I said, you don't need to just watch, you need to analyze. So ask yourself, what are these players doing? What type of technique are they using? What space are they running into? Where are they receiving the ball? How are they acting? What's their body language like? What does their shooting technique look like? Their dribbling, their ball control? Okay, what makes them successful? In certain situations, when you're watching, I'm sure you can relate. You can say, oh, I've received the ball in that situation and I lost it. Or, oh, I tried to shoot in that situation, I didn't score. Okay, then you see them do it successfully and you have to ask why. Okay, don't just look and say, what did they do? Ask why did they do it? How did they make it possible? If you can start watching, start analyzing more, I guarantee you that is gonna make you a smarter, smarter player. Secret number nine, is sticking with me for the long run. I have helped thousands of players get better. I can help you get better. I can help you achieve your goals, but only if you let me. If you watch this video and you never come back, you may improve, but you're not gonna improve at the rate you could with my help, okay? If you watch this video, you don't read that ebook tomorrow, you don't read all those emails that I'm gonna send you, then you're not gonna get any better. All the tools for your success are in front of you right here. There are millions of players in the world that if they knew about this opportunity, they would jump on it so quick. So you need to take advantage of this, not for me, for yourself, okay? If you wanna have more success, invest in me and I will help you achieve everything you want and more. Secret number 10 to achieving more success in soccer, whatever that means to you. If you wanna play at a higher level, you wanna earn a college scholarship, you wanna sign a pro contract, Secret number 10 is do not wait for your opportunity. Okay, so if you wanna be a pro player, you cannot just play in your league and expect coaches or scouts to come find you. You need to get out of your comfort zone. You need to go find them. If you're lucky enough to live in a country where they have a strong development system, strong youth system, strong professional leagues, then you have a little more luck on your side. People will be able to see you if you're playing well. But if you don't live in one of those countries, I don't want you to think that your opportunity is done because your opportunity is inside of you, okay? So don't wait for people to come to you. Don't wait for the opportunity to come to you. You have to go out and find it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Honestly, congratulate yourself. Feel good about yourself for taking a step towards making yourself a better player. I'm gonna send you that free ebook tomorrow. So make sure you check your email, check your junk mail, just in case it goes there as well. I don't want you to miss out on that ebook. I'm also gonna send you a week's worth of emails with valuable tips and advice. So please open those emails for your own benefit because in those emails, you're gonna learn how to become an impact player. See you tomorrow.